This bow exercise is called a spider crawl. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is put your bow in your left hand and set up your good bow hold. Remember, for cellos, that pinky falls over the bow stick, but for violins and violas, your pinky sits right on top of that stick wherever it lands that's comfortable. Once you have that set, you're gonna take your left hand away and you're gonna move your bow so the tip is pointing toward the ceiling. Please remember to maintain that bow hold though and then check in the back for your thumb. That thumb has to be curved. This is what it will look like if you play violin. This is what it will look like if you play cello. Okay, violin and viola, cello. Okay, now that you have your bow hand set and your bow is pointing toward the ceiling, you are going to crawl your way up to the top of the bow. Make sure that you do it slowly and with control. This is really quite difficult if you are doing it correct. Sometimes kids will allow this to happen and that is not a spider crawl. That is a free fall. So you wanna make sure that you are spider crawling your way all the way up to the tip of that bow. Once you get to the tip of your bow. Here's the hard part now. You have to spider crawl your way back to the frog. Every one of your fingers should be curved. Nothing should be flat or strained. You're going to work your way back all the way down to the frog where you'll get back to your good bow hold. And then I want you to check it. So if you play cello, Remember that pinky goes over the stick. But if you play violin and viola, you'll end up with your pinky right on top. These need to happen slowly. Stand up to do it. That way your bow has a little bit of space to move down and up. And remember, you wanna make sure that you have complete control. So if you find yourself doing this all the way down to the bottom, and then this, to get back up to the frog, that's not gonna work. Go slow, take your time, build strength in that hand for a good bow hold. Good luck.